welcome to Somali Ayo and Evo and also Ayo and Evo Entertainment. Super excited to have you guys stop by once again to check out our videos. We're super grateful, you know, for your support. And hey, if you're checking in, like stopping by for the very first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Well, today, without further ado, I'm going to be showing you something very interesting that I'm going to be doing with bananas. So guys, we all know as human beings, it's good to have fruits, it's good to cherish fruits. But the way Somali people cherish fruit, which fruit am I talking about? Bananas is on a whole total different level. Like how normal people see bananas and how Somali people see bananas is what I'm going to be illustrating today. Well, I hope I'm creative enough, guys, with my creative skills. And if you want to see how this was achieved, Stay tuned and let's get right into the video. Let's go. Okay, so guys, let's get right into the process. Finish washing my hands. Now onto the bananas. Making sure these bananas are prepped rightly <laughs> for the magic that's about to happen to them through my magical fingers. <laughs> Oops, yeah, nice. Cutting off that excess, whatever is on top of it. I don't need it. Mm, away, washing the knife, obviously. Like, okay, this is the first time I think I'm doing like a voiceover. Do I have to say everything you guys can see? Not necessary. So I'm just gonna let you watch this part as I pat dry the banana. So these are the stuffs I'm going to be using. Some I bought, some I already had in the house. Oh, I remember something. Hmm. Ta-da! My beautiful dress. I think I wore this in one of the videos I did recently. And yeah, you know, the banana is so precious to Somali guys. And... I figured that having stones in the bananas will make it extremely, like, luxurious. Luxi luxurious? <laughs> anyway, I'm taking off the stones now. They were super, super difficult to take off. Super, super difficult. Because they're like really really you know glued or however the makers of the cloth did it it's it was really tight they don't come off easily i had to pluck them off literally pluck them off Whew. still on it one eternity later and yeah pressure stones coming off so yeah that took me a while it took me a while about 20 to 30 minutes and then yeah i got off in a great amount of stones that i'm gonna be using for the next process now guys look closely watch what i'm doing what do you think i'm doing can you guess can you guess I'm drawing something, yup, love sign on the bananas, you know? It's like prepping it, like prepping the canvas, making sure from the foundation up to the finished product is amazing. We don't do kind of stuff that is just beautiful on the outside and inside somehow. So on the plain part, you can see the love sign, really cute, right? And the star, I drew a star as well. It would be crooked, please forgive me. Now we're taking those beautiful flowers and I'm using super glue to, you know, place them properly, like for it to stay properly. And yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Guys, I hope you're enjoying this video. Please like and share with all your friends. 
especially non Somali guys, so they know how you guys value it. And we understand it's it's the country's fruits, precious fruits. So now I'm gonna be putting what I call diamonds, of course they're not real diamonds, but hey, let's just pretend, you know, like we're in some magical world and really these things are so easy to find and I found them and now I'm putting them on the bananas. Just to show you this, just to illustrate how precious it is. I think I said that like one thousand times already. Yup, guys, the final, almost getting to the final product. Look at that big rock I'm putting there. Put a ring in it. Put a ring in it. Yup. That is the star, you know, on the flag. Right there now on the banana. Oops, my hand, my fingers are stuck together. Occupational hazard. Yeah, I figured I should fix one more. Just one. Oops. Just one more. One more. One more. One more. I feel that'll make it perfect. See how shiny it's becoming? Look at that, guys. Look at that. How do you love it? Read my skills, guys. Am I accurate, my Somali banana gang? Am I accurate? Isn't this how we view bananas? You know, isn't this how it is? Ah, the magic. Those are glitters that I'm sprinkling on it <laughs> to give it that magical effect. I hope I achieve that. <laughs> Amazing viewers, I present to you the most expensive banana in the whole wild world. Wide world, yes. So guys, I'm thinking this banana I've put in so much energy, so much skills, creative skills, and so much resources. Can you believe that? The pen I use, like in Nigeria, the normal pen is like 20 naira, like 0 0.000001 dollars. This one I bought for like 1,500 naira, that's almost five dollars, like just to, you know, prep my canvas, you know, prep this in a love way. And then my clothes, <laughs> I had to remove stones from my precious clothes and have it designed here. And then this flower that I've had for a while. Also, you know came in handy different things look at this guys so it is up for auction yeah long story short it's up for auction <laughs> so you guys in the comment section below let me know how much you're willing to take this from you remember that banana guy that just put a banana and put a tape on it i'm going to show you the picture that banana auction for 120 thousand dollars so i think i should go higher this should go for like $200,000. So guys, let us know who is ready for this. It will be shipped to you. Yes, we can ship now. And yeah, don't worry about the preservation. I know what to do. Just send your auction fees in the description section and the highest bidder wins. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, turn on your notification bell. Somali gang, banana gang, we got you guys. Yes. Mm. You guys are incredible. Look at this. This is exactly how Somali people view banana. I'm out. Peace out. Don't try this yourself. It's extremely dangerous.